Released in 1978, The Greek Tycoon is a classic drama that weaves a tale of love, power, and scandal. The movie revolves around the wealthy Greek tycoon whose life takes unexpected turns as he navigates through a world of opulence and intrigue. The film boasts a diverse cast, each playing a unique role in the unfolding drama. As you watch, you may find yourself drawn to a particular character, so out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? But that's not all. The Greek tycoon is loaded with moments that will leave you laughing, gasping, and maybe shedding a tear or two. The story unfolds with funny, shocking, and sad facts that will keep you glued to the screen. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Whether it's a moment that made you laugh out loud or a scene that left a lasting impression, we want to hear your stories and memories. Share them in the comments below and let's celebrate the magic of the Greek tycoon together. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey through the twists and turns of this captivating drama. And don't forget to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Your stories add to the richness of the cinematic tapestry. The Greek Tycoon is a 1978 film that offers a captivating glimpse into the world of love, power, and international intrigue. Directed by J. Lee Thompson, the movie takes us on a journey through the opulent lifestyles of the rich and influential. Set against a backdrop of glamour and excess, the story unfolds in various exotic locations, adding a touch of grandeur to the narrative. The plot revolves around the powerful Greek shipping magnate, portrayed by Anthony Quinn, whose character draws inspiration from real-life tycoon Aristotle Onassis. The narrative takes a dramatic turn when he becomes romantically entangled with the widow of a U.S. president, played by Jack Lambissette. Their complex relationship is further heightened by political machinations, societal expectations, and personal struggles. As the film progresses, viewers are treated to a visual feast of luxurious settings, from the lavish mansions of the elite to the picturesque landscapes that serve as a backdrop to the characters' whirlwind romance. The chemistry between the main characters is palpable, adding depth to the unfolding drama. The Greek tycoon premiered in 1978 and made waves for its alluring portrayal of wealth, love, and the high-stakes world of international affairs. While it may not have clinched major awards, the film remains a notable entry in cinematic history due to its engaging storyline and stellar performances by the cast. In conclusion, The Greek Tycoon is a must-watch for those seeking a cinematic experience that combines romance, power, and the allure of a world where wealth knows no bounds. Directed by J. Lee Thompson, this 1978 film offers a captivating journey into the lives of the elite wrapped in a tale of love and ambition that continues to resonate with audiences. The 1950s marked a significant period in American history, characterized by post-war optimism, economic prosperity, and the emergence of cultural shifts. Following the tumultuous World War II, the United States experienced a boom in industrial production, leading to increased affluence and suburbanization. Traditional gender roles were prevalent, with a focus on domesticity for women and breadwinning for men. The era also witnessed the rise of the Cold War as tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union escalated. Against this backdrop, the 1978 movie The Greek Tycoon is set, reflecting the cultural and historical nuances of the 1950s. The film captures the essence of the post-war period, showcasing opulence and glamour. The protagonist, a wealthy Greek magnate, embodies the era's economic prosperity and the allure of high society. The movie's themes are deeply influenced by the societal norms of the 1950s. The exploration of gender roles and relationships mirrors the conservative values of the time. The emphasis on glamour and luxury in the film aligns with the materialistic aspirations prevalent during the post-war economic boom. The portrayal of geopolitical tensions alludes to the Cold War backdrop, adding a layer of political intrigue to the narrative. The 1950s cultural and historical context is crucial in understanding the characters' motivations and the dynamics depicted in the Greek tycoon. The film serves as a nostalgic window into a bygone era, encapsulating the societal norms and aspirations that shape the lives of its characters. In conclusion, the Greek tycoon artfully intertwines its narrative with the historical and cultural tapestry of the 1950s, capturing the essence of post-war America. The film's themes and content are a reflection of the societal values and geopolitical tensions that define the era. 
It stands as a cinematic exploration of a specific moment in history, offering viewers a glimpse into the past. Anthony Quinn and Jacqueline Bissett took center stage in a 1978 film, embodying characters inspired by real-life figures. They played roles initially based on Aristotle Onassis and Christina Onassis. Quinn reportedly pocketed 400000 plus a share of profits, while Bissett earned 250000 as disclosed in a 1977 Los Angeles Times article. Originally conceived as a biopic, the movie underwent changes, transforming the characters from Aristotle Anastes and Jennifer Astor to Theo Tomasi's and Liz Cassidy, as detailed in a 1976 Los Angeles Times report. Directed by J. Lee Thompson, the Greek tycoon marked the second collaboration between Quinn and Thompson following the guns of Navarone in 1961. The trilogy concluded with The Passage in 1979. In the realm of cinema, this film stands as a pivotal project, with the actors seamlessly transitioning into a fictionalized narrative rooted in reality. The financial disclosures and character evolution add intriguing layers to this cinematic venture. In 1978, a film unfolded, initially intended as a biopic on Aristotle Onassis and his wife Christina Onassis. However, when permission was denied by Christina Onassis for an official portrayal, the movie shifted gears. A June 16, 1976 Los Angeles Times article details how producer Nico Mastarakis opted for a fictional approach. Centered around Jacqueline Kennedy, who was married to President John F. Kennedy and later wedded Aristotle Onassis, the film took a different trajectory. Anthony Quinn and Jacqueline Bisset took on roles loosely inspired by real-life figures, transforming the characters into Theo Tomasis and Liz Cassidy, as reported by the Los Angeles Times in 1976. Directed by J. Lee Thompson, the Greek tycoon marked the cinematic debut of actresses Cassandra Harris and Lucy Gutteridge. Quinn, reprising his collaboration with Thompson from the Guns of Navarone in 1961, reportedly earned 400000 plus profits, while Bissett pocketed 250000 The movie stands as a pivotal project, seamlessly weaving a fictionalized narrative rooted in the lives of real personalities. The financial disclosures and character evolution add layers to this cinematic venture, making it a noteworthy piece in the history of film. In 1978, a cinematic tale unfolded, bringing together Anthony Quinn and Jacqueline Bissett and the Greek tycoon. The movie, born out of a shift from its original biopic intent due to denial of portrayal rights, took inspiration from the lives of real figures. Bissett's character, Liz Cassidy, drew parallels to Jacqueline Kennedy, sharing the same first name. The film, directed by J. Lee Thompson, navigated a narrative intricately woven with charm and intrigue. The movie's posters encapsulated its essence with a bold description she, the most famous woman in the world. He, a peasant, a pirate, a shark. What he couldn't buy with money, he stole with charm. Notably, it hit the screens in 1978, closely following another Hollywood tycoon film, The Last Tycoon, released just two years prior. The Greek tycoon, a testament to Quinn and Bissett's on-screen synergy, not only marked the second collaboration between the two since The Guns of Navarone in 1961, but also served as the cinematic debut for actresses Cassandra Harris and Lucy Gutteridge. Quinn, earning 400000 plus profits, and Bissett, pocketing 250000 added financial layers to the movie's narrative. In essence, the Greek tycoon stands as a pivotal cinematic piece, seamlessly blending a fictionalized narrative with the essence of real personalities, creating a noteworthy chapter in film history. This concise yet detailed glimpse into the film showcases its unique trajectory exploring the charisma and charm that define the characters. Following the passing of the Greek shipping magnate Aristotle Onassis in 1975, several film projects were initiated. One particular motion picture, highlighted in a June 9, 1975 Los Angeles Examiner article, aimed to depict the life of Onassis and his spouse. Initially intending to cast Jacqueline Kennedy herself, the project faced challenges, with Jacqueline Kennedy's spokesperson dismissing the notion as nonsense, despite a substantial $1 million offer from producer Nico Mastarakis. Subsequent reports in the show business trade paper Daily Variety on July 9, 1975, revealed conflicting statements. While Jacqueline Kennedy's spokesperson continued to dismiss the idea as absurd, ongoing discussions about her potential participation in the film were claimed by Nico Mastarakis. 
eventually faced with denial from Mrs. Freud Onassis, the movie took a fictional turn, portraying characters loosely inspired by real-life figures. The film, later titled The Greek Tycoon, brought together Anthony Quinn and Jacqueline Bissett in lead roles, depicting a narrative that evolved from an intended biopic to a fictionalized drama. Directed by J. Lee Thompson, the project not only captured the dynamic between the two lead actors, but also marked the cinematic debut of actresses Cassandra Harris and Lucy Gutteridge. Anthony Quinn, who had reportedly pocketed 400,000-plus profits, and Jacqueline Bissett, earning 250,000, contributed financial layers to the movie's narrative. Released in 1978, The Greek Tycoon stands as a noteworthy cinematic piece, seamlessly blending a fictionalized narrative with the essence of real personalities, creating a chapter in film history that explores the charm and intrigue defining its characters. In 1978, The Greek Tycoon brought together Anthony Quinn and Jacqueline Bissett in lead roles, navigating a narrative that deviated from its original biopic intent. Initially declining the project, Quinn changed his mind after a restaurant encounter with Jack Lan Kennedy, who had reportedly asked him not to make the movie. This incident, as recounted in the September 9, 1977 edition of the Washington Post, influenced his decision. The film, directed by J. Lee Thompson, took on a fictionalized approach after facing denial from Jacqueline Kennedy for an official portrayal. Despite the shift, it became a significant chapter in Quinn's career. Interestingly, he later portrayed Aristotle Onassis' father, Socrates Onassis, in Onassis, the richest man in the world. James Franciscus, known for playing the real John F. Kennedy in Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy, also took on the role of a fictionalized version of JFK named James Cassidy in the 1978 movie. This dual portrayal adds an intriguing layer to Franciscus' involvement in cinematic renditions of historical figures. The film not only marked a collaboration between Quinn and Thompson, but also introduced actresses Cassandra Harris and Lucy Gutteridge to the cinematic world. Quinn, earning 400,000 plus profits, and Bissett, pocketing 250,000, contributed financial layers to the narrative. It stands as a noteworthy cinematic piece, seamlessly blending a fictionalized narrative with the essence of real personalities, creating a chapter in film history that explores the charm and intrigue defining its characters. Quinn's decision to take on the role, influenced by his encounter with Jacqueline Kennedy, adds a personal touch to the production history, showcasing the dynamic interplay between real-life events and cinematic storytelling. In a curious turn of events, his connection to the Onassis saga extended beyond the movie, underscoring the lasting impact of this cinematic venture on the actor's career.